Good evening everybody and welcome to this Old Hammer White Dwarf review from issue 97 which I believe was what's the date on this one January 1988 so let's begin on the left here we have this lovely advert for the talisman timescape game which i never played i don't know about any of you lot if you did play it let me know but it looks quite interesting i always wanted to be at blood angel down there anyway i've got to be very careful with this one because there's a couple of pages which have nearly fallen out so we start with our typical new games review section i thought that said chocolate sheet there but it says character sheet Lovely piece of artwork for the Judge Dredd game. We're still heavily into Judge Dredd by the look of things. Some mail order games. And here we have an interesting article based on how the original plastic um, box sets were conceived. Very interesting if you fancy reading it one day. Oh, by the way, it does mention the first couple of vehicles would be the Land Raider, the Rhino, and then a tracked snowmobile quad bike type thing, which I don't think we had in plastic. The closest thing I can think of would be uh, perhaps a Nork War Track, but I think the metal ones were out a lot earlier. Some more adverts. It must have been Christmas time because we can see a Space Marine in the snow there. Another advert for RuneQuest, Culture Shop, which I think is new Games Workshop releases. Would you like to subscribe to White Dwarf? How much is it at this time? Uh, oh, £15 for 12 issues. So if you'd like to subscribe for the year, it's £15. Not a bad price. Book reviews are still doing the rounds, Critical Mass, and our old friend, Fend, our old friend, Thrud the Barbarian over here. Some interesting looking adverts. It's not a Balrog, it's a Balgorg, the Greater Demon. I think we changed its name to a Bloodthirster later on. Is it the same thing? Can anyone tell me if a Balgorg is just the original name for a Bloodthirster? Here we have a Warhammer Fantasy Battle scenario, The Valley of Death. This artwork is fantastic. Character Park over here. I know it says Character Pack to make your Warhammer Fantasy roleplay characters. The Valley of Death scenario rules. And here we see the Halfling releases. Wonder if there's anyone in there called Frodo or Bilbo. There is Lugar, not Lorgar, but Lugar. Oh, Poldo, not Frodo, Poldo. And Adam, <laughs> that well-known halfling name. Although I'm not an expert on halfling names. Someone else will come along shortly and tell us if Adam is an acceptable name for a halfling. Zip Pickazorn and Blackhead, the worse than normal. A level 10 goblin hero. Here we have an advert for Warhammer 40,000 Book of the Astronomicon. I don't own that one, but apparently it was £4.99 upon release. There's Brother A's skull there with his uh, super hat. And we're still in the scenario, The Valley of Death. Moving on, we have the Dwarf Adventurers. Do we have any exciting names in this one? We've got Old Feet. No, Old Pete, sorry. Shrubs. Spud with a double D. That's possibly the best one. Yak has fallen over. Oh, sorry, that's wounded. Yak is this chap here. On the Boil, a mouth-watering menu of juicy goodies for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. So these must be items you can bring into your game. White Dwarf back issues. Can I have uh, issue number one? No, we start back at 39. 
there's the rules for the great horned helm probably a bit like the uh helm from the old tv show nightmare that was an incredible t-shirt t t-shirt show tv show and here we have a very long article, Index Astartes. I think this is the first Index Astartes article, this time featuring the Ultramarines. And here is the famous picture of Marnius Calgar and a couple of dinosaurs with a, a third eye on the back of its head. I've never noticed that before, although on this eye they've turned it into an inkwell. Also appears to have a lightsaber hilt there and an orc Bolter and a poster of the Emperor to talk to at night. Marvellous. An ultramarine dreadnought down here. The old dreadnought dreadnoughts really were awesome. Famous characters from the ultramarines. Imperial Commander Marnius Kaldgar. Lieutenant Commander Charlie. Charlie. The half Eldar, Chief Librarian Astropath. Ilian Nastase. Is uh, Ilian a play on the name from the guy out of the man from Uncle? Ilya Kuryakin, whatever his name was. Master of Ordnance, Captain Kion Asata. My favourite, Master of Sanctity, Tao Chakatao. Here we have some uh, images showing us the heraldry of various Space Marine units. And the Forge Lord. There's a very Eldar looking symbol there. A few of those look a little Eldar. Obviously this is before they knew where they were going with it. And that looks a lot like the Tyranid or Gene Stealer cult symbol there. Sort of infinity symbol of the serpent eating its own tail. A trilogy of terror. Three cases for Call of Cthulhu. If you've been playing Call of Cthulhu, you'd probably want this update. There she is, Hermione Elsinum. Marvellous. I really like the artwork in here. Clive Manners apparently appears to be a bit of a two-face. And Raising the Standard, a Warhammer Championship report. So there was a Warhammer Championship back in the day. Here we have the team rundowns. Most successful overseas competitor was A. Mayers from Belgium. Here we have the first advert, advert for the R202 Space Orc Command Group. They all look awesome. I especially like Gordal Lugub. Good to see we're still using names for characters here. And our famous Zotes. Everyone loves the Zotes. Zotes in space. Nothing can stand in their way. Apart from time, because we'll get rid of them after a few weeks. Some lovely pieces of artwork with a space marine just strangling the life out of this orc. And a fish. I like that fish. Now, this piece of artwork here of these orcs, is this an early dreadnought or titan perhaps? I've always wondered what that was supposed to be. It has some sort of Eldar ears on the top. Chapter approved. This article tells us how to read the dates, the check number, the year fraction number, the year number, and then the millennium. Some Eldar weapons here, shuriken pistols, and an Imperial las gun has a shorter barrel than most of the ones from the minis. Uh, John Blanche does an article on, I'm not sure what that is, milliput perhaps? An article on converting or basing, maybe. Skimpy underwear. I'm not sure what this article is actually about. I'll have to have a read and get back to you on that one. This is definitely an article on glazing, I think, because I've seen this one before. These orcs here are fantastically painted. They're really nice to look at. The greens are really nice. They're almost a yellow. Fantastic. The Madcap Laughs. Stormbringer Adventure Ruins in Madness. I have no idea what that is. I'm going to assume it's another RPG. Yeah, more rules for the same campaign. Some interesting animals. Looks like a monkey. Yes, a baboon. Constrictor snake. A jeweled bird. Beautiful. Always love finding uh, jeweled birds out in the wildlife. 
out in the wild life. <laughs> you can hear him outside now. Out in the wilderness. Princess Elshara there looks a lot like a uh, sister of battle to me. With her embellished corset. Here's our constrictor snake. Constricting a rock. It's got a nice paddle tail as well. Perhaps he's a swimming snake. Letters page. An advert for Mort. A fantasy novel. The Decade. Some more adverts. And here we can see the squats. Still haven't got their namesake. They're still the space dwarves. And these are some named characters for the squats. Can't possibly imagine where they got this name from though. Captain Kirk. Interesting. And on the back, we have an advert for Talisman Dungeon Quest. And to me, this looks like a quite a fun game. Has anyone ever played it? Please let me know what it's like. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, then please be sure to like and subscribe, or even leave a comment. I always try my best to reply to them all. You can even now support the channel by joining the Patreon page, details of which are in the description below. Thank you again for watching, and always remember to drill your barrels.